Hello, this is Joyce Chow, MBN and Muse Video World. We're here at the Nokia Center in the Conga Room. Yes, for MTV's Video Music Awards. And we are here with Jessica. No, can you say your last name? Kuzovitsky. Oh, Jessica Kuzovitsky. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you're with the new, well, actually, this is season two. This is season two of VH1's Your Cut Off. Uh-oh. So can you imagine your cut off? Do you have an idea what that might be? <laughs> Basically, it was being cut off from like the whole world. It was like not just like you know financially or anything like that. They took your cell phones. They took you know everything Are from you. What? Yes. Everything. Wait. Like when you were moving into the house, they took our luggage and they said, okay, you can only take X amount of space, like to fill up a little piece of a trunk. Wait, did you have any idea that they were going to do this beforehand? I had no idea. I thought I was going on to a show called America's Next It Girl, and when you get oh, there. Which is the total opposite. And then you feel like, to, wait a minute. This I was like, how do you win America's Next It Girl? And then it's actually, no, you're cut off. And actually, you're going to be living in this little house with eight girls and one bathroom. And you're going to try to make it through. And I was like, oh my god. Mm, now, I was reading kind of the description that's on IMDb. And it's from different people that have come. Let's just say, they've been, maybe not a silver platter, but they've been a little spoiled all their lives. Yes. Does that fit with you? I mean, I definitely grew up privileged. I wouldn't say spoiled. I feel like spoiled is unappreciative. So I definitely grew up privileged, but I wouldn't say it was anything too crazy. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things that are all always relative. Yeah. So where did you start from? Or right before the show, and then you went on the show, and then what were you having to do without? Well, basically, I was living in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, on the beach, in a condo, just by myself, just totally peaceful existence, <laughs> and then I get thrown into this house in the valley with eight girls in one bathroom, and it was just chaos because you have eight girls that are used to getting everything they want when they want it, and now we were getting nothing that we wanted, so everyone was going crazy. Now, for you, what was it? one piece of either technology or makeup that you found yourself desperately wishing you had? Well, it was funny because when we went into the house, I brought in, you know, as much as I could. So I brought in makeup, but halfway through the show, I ran out of lip gloss. And I was like, you people need to let me get some lip gloss. I cannot be without lip gloss. So that was a whole fight with the producers for sure, trying to get some more lip gloss. But I guess it was definitely hardest not having a cell phone because you couldn't talk to your family or right. be in touch with anybody you love. So nobody, nobody, no contact for the whole team. Oh, that's kind of. Mm. So I can just imagine a house, eight girls, and they don't have all the things that they really, really want to have. Yeah. Other conveniences. What was one of the craziest things that happened behind the scenes that never made it? Well, you know, a couple of the girls definitely had some breakdowns. Some of it made it to TV, not all of it, but it, that was kind of sad because, you know, you're without, like, the people you're comfortable with and you're going through such a difficult mental time being right. without your things and your family. So, I mean, that was rough. I, I mean, the craziest thing we did was... Like when we went camping, I had never been camping before, so roughing it was like oh. crazy to me. So we had like all those kinds of experiences and some girls were better in other situations than others. So you try to support each other because you know we were all going through it together, but some of the girls were really not trying to make friends. Um, so you also had to They were trying that. to survive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So now since that has passed, wait, wait. It's getting ready to show, isn't it? When no, it showed. Already. Oh, it's already it, showed? It, okay. It's aired. Yes. Okay. So how has your life changed since you've been on that show? Well, since the show, I've moved out to L.A. I'm not living on the beach anymore by myself. <laughs> I'm actually living in a house with full of roommates, but they're awesome. And I'm doing acting classes and stuff like that, and I just love it out here. And just just appreciating everything a lot more. Every yeah, day. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> that was my only change experience. my lip <laughs> Okay to go get some more. So what are you working on now as far as um, acting and um, I'm co-hosting a new show about um, we're finding the lead singer for the Miami Sound Machine. The new really? lead singer we're going to be replacing Gloria Stefan. So that's really exciting. It's rediscovering an uh, idol. So I'm really excited about that. A legend. Sorry. Rediscovering a legend. That's exciting. Can you sing? I don't personally sing, but I love to watch music. <laughs> See? She's a pr very appreciative. <laughs> That's right. So if there's anyone you would like to act with, 
or work with in the entertainment industry? Who would that be? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go out there on a limb and say Leonardo DiCaprio would be beautiful to work with, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> um, everyone's got to start somewhere. I would just love to like work with like you know the popular actors and actresses of today. Like I love like Gossip Girl and right. all those kinds of shows. That would be amazing. Yeah. But if Leonardo were here in the room and he was right over there, what, what would you say about that? I was just be like, oh my god, you're amazing, and you're talented, and you're beautiful, and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> See, Leonardo, you know where? You have to reach her. On the internet, where's the best place to catch up with you? You can get me on Twitter. It's Jessica K. Tweets with a Z at the end. And you can find me on Facebook backslash Jess Kuzvitsky. Leonardo, she's amazing. Find me. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Thank you so much.